Before we get started, don't forget, we've got two giveaways going on. One's a $50 Amazon gift card, and one's 0.37 grams of real gold. I'll have links down into the descriptions so you can see how to win. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can know when we have other contests going on. Good luck. What's going on, everybody? It's Chris. And Netta. We're at Dinkworth Pond. It's an Arizona State Park. Been here a couple times fishing. We've decided that we're gonna go to all of the state parks in Arizona. Just give you guys a little bit of what's available for the public to use. You can get a pass, a yearly pass that lets you into all of them. Um, so you can buy that up front and then you don't have to pay anything to get into all those state parks. So this is Dankworth. You come in, there's lots of parking. Restrooms right over there. They're pretty nice. They've got lots of trash cans all laid out. So we haven't seen that much trash out here, which is really good. Picnic tables, a little grill, where you could come out and have a cookout if you felt like it. There's a ton of bugs out. It's not like Florida by any means, but they look pretty thick for here. So the pond has lots of access. They usually come through every once in a while and cut those reeds out. There's benches, there's a dock, plenty of places to fish. There's largemouth bass, bluegill. Um, they stock this with trout in the wintertime. There's catfish in here, there's carp in here. Basically, if you like to fish in Arizona, Well, just kind of eaten. Headed off into the bushes. So we're headed up the trail. There's a little hiking trail. There's, th I believe there's three paths you can take. They're all only about maybe a mile, mile and a half round trip. I know that said 1.75, but I think it's closer to a mile and a half. So we'll go on a little hike. We'll show you what's at the end of it. If it was dark out, this would be pretty spooky. So normally these are dry, but we've had a lot of rain. There's a lot of snow melt coming off the mountain right now. There's actually water. What that sign um, is talking about is that a lot of times it's either gonna run at full speed as a flash flood, or it's running under the surface. So you can get down in there and dig and you'll actually find the stream flowing through the sand, even though you can't see it. He's a lizard. There's quail all over in here. I can see him scattering right now. They're up on that little deal. You can hear them. So this is called Dankworth Village. And it just shows a little bit about how the natives in this area used to live. Just shows the little stones like they used to use. Less of a teepee in this area and more built with adobe or mud. So that sign, you can probably barely read it. It says, this structure is typical houses lived in by the Mogollon Indians 1,000 years ago in the San Simone Valley. like a lot of straw. Got those posts holding everything up. Better play. Yeah. There's lots of little benches and shaded areas that you can sit and take a rest and get some water. Just kind of hang out and enjoy the, the noises. There's quail all the way around us. They're, they're everywhere. It's driving me crazy, but it's the wrong time of year. So 
but it's a nice little trail, nice little walk that you come out to enjoy the park, you can come have a picnic, go for a little hike, maybe do a little fishing. I guess the big downfall I would have to say of this lake is that these weeds are around most of the bank. And they don't keep them down, so it's kind of hard to find spots to fish from. But other than that, it's a pretty nice facility, so it's not busy, which it is today. You usually can find lots of places to fish, but today, slim pickings, you kind of got to take what you can get, and there's not usually a lot for that. Well, once we were all done hiking, we really didn't have as much time to fish as we thought we were going to, so we didn't catch anything. But there was quite a few people that were catching fish, so. Yeah, they were catching fish on corn, um, bottom rigs. We only had lures, which generally are gonna work better in, later in the afternoon, but it's still got about an hour and a half before the sun goes down, so. We were a little early, didn't catch anything, so. All in all, great little state park, worth the visit. Don't forget on our last video, we're giving away some real gold that we got at the gold show. So go check that video out, put a link right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we keep making these. We know you like them whenever you like and subscribe. So we'll catch you later. Hey everyone, it's Chris. And Netta. If you liked the video, drop us a like. And subscribe. Thanks for being a part of our everyday.